Welcome back. It is 6.30. Are you worried about your children taking prescription medications? Well, there is an alternative out there that some are saying could take the place of those drugs. Yeah, new this morning, we went into the world of gene snips, which is a process similar to genetic testing. And Aaron Fields found out how gene snips could be something you might want to consider. Hi, Aaron. Good morning, Tim and Alicia. A gene snip is a simple cheek swab sample that evaluates 48 of your genes. That sample then goes into an advanced confidential computer program, and then your healthcare professional looks at it over, and then it can help you select certain nutrients and fitness plans to assist with your child's health problems. And one of the interesting things, prescription medicines are not recommended as treatment. Instead, they focus on at-home remedies or other alternatives, and the process has been proven effective according to one local parent. It's amazing to know why my daughter's body was the same way as before. Jessica Haley told me that her daughter suffers from ADHD, ODD, and anxiety. She says she's been giving her daughter prescription medicines for over 12 years now. It was constant medication, changing every three, six months to a year, and nothing was working. She said her daughter was still struggling in school and was just not herself anymore. She decided to take her daughter off the meds and took her in for a gene snip. They got the results four to six weeks later and then went over them with her therapist. But they went through it to where it would I would understand in my own level. And then they break it down from each category that was in the gene snip and then they go in and it categorizes for them what vitamins will work best for the person's body. Haley says she felt a lot more comfortable and knowledgeable about her daughter's health problems because of the information she received from the gene snip. With the other doctor, not trying to be mean about health professionals, but her doctor just didn't quite understand everything, like you would say, and then he would go, mm-hmm, okay, okay, and then we'll just try this, try this, and a lot of it just didn't work. Child therapist Valerie Myers is a fan of the process and says this evaluation can even help later on in life. It can help you now, it can also help you in the future because remember they're your genes. Uh, so they're going to be with you now as you're 8 or 9 or 10 years old and also when you're 50, right? So it can benefit you in a lot of areas in your life. She says the only downfall is that the average cost is around $500. The education I think is invaluable of just understanding how their body works and what's best for their body and to maybe even make slow changes. Most of our families do make quick changes just because they want to be healthier um, and more stabilized in their life. She feels a lot happier. She's more herself. She's very outgoing so she likes to be able to do things and now she's able to do it without having that whole perspective of the medications taking over. Myers added that none of the results go into the national database like other genetic tests, so like I said, it's completely mm -hmm. confidential. And for more information about gene snips, you can check out our KX News website, mynd.now.com. But Tim Alicia, it was a really cool like process. I asked, mm -hmm. actually asked her if I could maybe try it out, and she was like, yeah, it's for people of all yeah. ages, so yeah. maybe all three of us can go in that's one right. day. That's right, that's <laughs> right. Well, Maybe genetics is just amazing, and, and it's just in its infancy right now, so yeah. it's, it's nice to have all the options, whether it be medication or mm -hmm. the, the, healthy, the health alternatives. So. Exactly. Thanks, Aaron. We appreciate it.